The weather is about to get very crazy very fast across the United States because we have a very large storm that's coming to the United States at the tail end of this weekend into early next week and this is going to bring a multi-day severe weather event it begins tonight and it goes all the way through Wednesday and this is going to bring significant severe weather from the Great Plains into the Midwest the Ohio Valley and the Southeast with damaging winds large hail and tornadoes all being possible so in this weather forecast we're going to break down everything that you need to know about this very large storm with that being said let's talk more about this large storm that's coming to the united states and to look at that we are going to look at the infrared imagery and this is what's happening right now in the united states notice the low pressure system that's just offshore from california this is actually the storm that is going to bring the significant severe weather threat as we go into late sunday into monday and eventually into tuesday across much of the great plains the ohio valley and even down to the southeast really defined low pressure system though right now on the infrared imagery there and that right there is where the low pressure system is located this will continue to move to the east over the next 24 hours some of the energy is actually going over the rocky mountains so that'll start to kind of develop that low pressure system more as this moves off to the east over the rocky mountains and eventually by late sunday that low pressure system will be right over colorado where we are going to eventually see the significant severe weather threat unravel as we go into monday one area that i do want you to watch for today though is back over in the ohio valley this is an area that we're watching Watching for a threat of severe weather the main area will be in central and southern ohio we'll be talking about this here in literally 30 seconds but that area in particular we do have a threat of severe weather all modes of severe weather are going to be possible including mainly the threat of large hail but there might be a brief tornado it's not out of the question but no strong tornadoes are in the forecast today this is not a significant severe weather day same thing with tomorrow at for now at least there's not a significant risk of severe weather but that'll include more areas across the midwest and as well as back through the ohio valley it's actually going to be a larger area tomorrow we'll be breaking that down for you here in just a moment all right let's talk more about this multi-day severe weather event that's coming to the united states and we will begin with today which is saturday we do currently have a marginal threat of severe weather that goes from eastern indiana back into west virginia the main concern here will be large hail but with that being said i'm not ruling out an isolated tornado which would likely be on the brief side of things i know the storm prediction center hasn't mentioned any sort of tornado risk here but i would say it's a very very low chance we have just enough shear and just enough moisture where there might be something brief so just keep that in mind but no reason to panic just have that tornado action plan ready just in case because you might need it anyway as we get closer to tuesday when a more significant severe weather risk will be impacting areas like ohio and west virginia once we go into tomorrow which is sunday we do have a much larger marginal threat of severe weather that expands anywhere from northeast kansas and southeast nebraska back into ohio now this day is a little bit different from what we're talking about today there will be a few more storms out there comparatively to today and it's also across a much larger area main concern will be large hail there will be some damaging winds and i'm also not ruling out a couple of tornadoes and the main tornado risk will actually be across areas in illinois western indiana and even into northeast missouri we might go live tomorrow for this so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon down below so you're notified if and when we do go live and by the way we will be talking about the severe weather timing for both saturday sunday monday and Tuesday in just a moment so stay tuned once we go into Monday the weather gets a lot crazier because we are talking about a much larger severe weather risk and what I mean by that is that the area is one pretty big and also two the risk level is even higher than what we're talking about for both today and tomorrow we do currently have an enhanced risk of severe weather that goes from Missouri which is near the St. Louis area by the way back into southern Oklahoma this is a three out of five on the severe weather scale which, which means if we categorize this by very low to low low to medium to high to very high this would be about a medium risk of severe weather in this area make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts and have a tornado action plan in place just in case because there will definitely be a few severe supercells in this area that are capable of all modes of severe weather that includes damaging winds large hail and even a few tornadoes will be possible and i'm not ruling out a strong tornado at this time also outside of this we do have a large slight risk of severe weather that goes from the dallas fort worth area in texas all the way back into areas like indiana this a two out of five on the severe weather scale overall this is a low to medium risk of severe weather main concern will be damaging winds large hail and also the potential for a few tornadoes still exists and then as we go further outside of that boundary we have a large marginal threat of severe weather that goes all the way into areas like west virginia ohio and back down into south texas and that'll be a bit more of an isolated threat of severe weather notice that there is a hatched area back over in western missouri back into kansas and much of oklahoma this is where the greatest significant threat 
of severe weather will be. I am expecting where the largest hail will be in terms of like two plus inch diameter hail. That'll likely be confined into this area. In addition to that, I'm not ruling out a strong tornado in that region as well as we go into Monday. The severe weather doesn't end there. We have another risk of severe weather once we go into tossing trampolines on tall trees Tuesday, which I bet there'll be a lot of tossing trampolines on Monday with that high wind risk. But overall, the main concern here will again be all modes of severe weather, including damaging winds, large hail, and even a few tornadoes. The main concern though across the board will be damaging winds. This includes anywhere from Delaware and Maryland and even Southern Pennsylvania back into areas like the Dixie Alley. So Northern Alabama and Georgia included in this and back into Kentucky and Tennessee. It's gonna be a wild next few days. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We'll likely be going live for several of these days. We'll also have a Q&A live stream most likely tomorrow evening. So make sure that you're subscribed. All right, let's talk more about the timing with each day. We're gonna begin with today's risk, which again, as a reminder, it's a marginal threat of severe weather across areas like Ohio. Storms will fire up around five to six o'clock. We'll be watching for these storms to move for the most part down to the southeast and east-southeast. These ones will be mainly capable of large hail up to about golf ball size as possible, but I would not rely on an isolated tornado. And you might be wondering, what is that weird scribble right here in the center of the screen? Well, this is actually showing you the updraft helicity tracks. And what that essentially means is rotating supercells. That's what we're looking at here. And the HRR model around seven o'clock this evening does show a little bit of rotation in this particular supercell that it's at least forecasting. Now, obviously that does not mean that there's definitely gonna be a tornado because rotation doesn't always mean tornadoes. But with that being said, we do have to watch for maybe a brief tornado risk sometime between about six to eight o'clock tonight. If there is a tornado warning, we will try to go live for that tonight. And then once we get closer to nine to 10 o'clock, storms are clearing out and overall the severe weather risk is dwindling. So it's gonna be a pretty short time frame tonight, but what isn't gonna be as short of a time frame is tomorrow. Showing you the future radar for tomorrow across Illinois and Indiana, we will have a few more supercells out there. The HRR model actually shows some pretty intense supercells with large to very large hail and even a potential for a tornado or two across areas like central Illinois back into western Indiana. Notice this is four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We'll be watching these primarily in central Illinois, so near Springfield and Champaign, back through areas near Indianapolis. By five to six o'clock, these storms are moving into Indiana, where there will be a chance for a isolated tornado, large hail, and damaging winds. By seven to eight o'clock, these storms are moving into areas like Ohio, and eventually by eight to nine o'clock, we're done with those storms. More storms will fire up, though, late in the evening, overnight into um, Monday morning, and these will mostly be isolated strong storms. Wouldn't rule out an isolated severe storm, but I do think the severe weather risk will be much lower at that point. And we're going to show you a more broad overview for both Monday and Tuesday since the exact timing still is a little bit uncertain. But this is what we're talking about going into Sunday. Again, notice that low pressure system moving over the Rocky Mountains. This will eventually bring some showers and storms Sunday evening across areas in the Ohio Valley. By Monday, we're going to be watching for several storms to fire up right after lunchtime across areas from North Texas back into Western Illinois and even in parts of the Ohio Valley, like Indiana and Ohio. And this is right around three o'clock or so in the afternoon. So that is when we're gonna be watching for those storms to initially fire up. We are likely gonna see a line or a linear line of storms develop. That means that the damaging wind concern will likely become the predominant threat as we go into the evening hours across areas like uh, Missouri and as well as Oklahoma. And eventually as we get closer to the late evening into the overnight hours, most of these storms are moving east. Most of the severe weather will be done by Tuesday morning, but another round of severe weather will be possible during the afternoon across areas anywhere from Mississippi back into Ohio, Virginia, and Kentucky as we go into Tuesday afternoon. And eventually by the evening into Wednesday, this all moves offshore. We might have a low threat of severe weather in Florida as we go into Wednesday. And eventually as we go into late Wednesday, a winter storm will be possible in the Northeast as there could be a Nor'easter in those areas. We could actually get some areas near six to 12 inches of snow, but the exact details on how much snow falls do, does still remain pretty uncertain since we are still several days out. Also, I do want to thank all of our channel members we just crossed 200 members for the first time ever on the max velocity channel that does not include gifted memberships by the way so i really do appreciate all of you that have joined the velocities if you want to join the velocities and become a member you can click the join button down below it gives you tons of benefits and it also helps us being able to upgrade our live stream setup and much more feel free to join down below it starts from 2.99 thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already